Hello everyone, Gene Molina here, Natural Tennis Solutions. We're going to get into the hip initiation video. So what I mean by that is initiating the swing is what should be happening, but to the majority of people, the swing does not initiate with the hip, it initiates with the arms. So I'm in my ready position, I'm ready to swing, and the first thing I do is arms. Arms without anything else happening in my body. And the true way to hit a tennis ball is gonna be to use your body so that it becomes effortless and you don't hurt yourself. So if I go to initiate with my hip, that would mean I'm in my ready position and the first thing I do is hip. So the hip is very subtle. There's not a lot of rotation to the hip, but it sets off all these other pieces, all these other segments of your body to go. So I set the hip first, then goes the core. I've done the core video, so you guys know how to stretch the core. Then goes the core, then goes the chest, then it gets into the shoulder, then it gets into the arm, and then finally it goes out into your hand. So initially it's hip, then everything else, then hip again, then everything else. So there is a lag effect. I need you to understand the lag effect. This whole thing about lagging your racket has been big on YouTube. Lagging the racket, lagging the racket. But what people don't understand is the, the racket is not what's being lagged, it's your body. Your body gets lagged. The racket is just along for the ride, but your body gets lagged. So your hip is what initiates. The legs get involved too. I'm not going to talk about the legs though. The hip initiates core chest, shoulder, arm, and then finally everything else gets put in. So I'm going in here, 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 here. It should look a little bit strange the way I'm doing this, where the hip is going first, then everything else is lagging behind. So at this point, the hip goes first, then the core, then the chest, then everything else starts to come back. Now, as this starts to get back here, this is lagging behind. All of this is lagging. The hip has already gone to its maximum um, place, and now it's starting to go forward again. So then everything starts to lag again. These pieces start, and then everything else gets pushed back out. This is what has to be understood. In order to hit a natural swing, you need to lead with the hip, nothing else. If anything's gonna initiate with muscularity, I want the legs and the hip to be the muscles that you use, nothing else. All right, so now we get into the hip shapes. So what I mean by hip shapes is what direction does your hip actually go back and forward? So we're rotating and we're rotating. So there's the flat hip, which if I put my racket on my hip like this and I go straight back with my hip, straight back and straight forward, the racket will actually just go straight back and straight forward. Pretty simple. I can show you a little bit of the lag effect. If I hold the racket a little bit closer to my hip and I do the flat hip, flat flat you can see the racket starts to lag a little bit so it starts to go back back and forward so as i pull the hip back the racket's still in front i pull the racket stays in front and then as uh, it gets back here and i pull forward it lags behind again so that's a small version of the lag effect now this spin shape will give you just flatter shots with the trajectory of the ball going over the net. So let me have Jeremy come over and feed a few. So I am trying to set up and do what I just showed you, which is a flat hip. And I'm just going straight here and straight there. So it's just flat and flat. Nothing too crazy about this swing. Got it.
All right, so almost all those shots were perfect. The first one, the feed was a little off. I blame it on Jeremy. But that setup made every one of my balls go over the net straight line. It was straight trajectory, nothing spinny about it. There was still top spin. I do have a good rotation around this ball, but it was flat. It was just going flat. It was going straight over that net. Um, so that would be the flat hip. Now the spin hip. So the spin hip goes this way. I put the racket on my hip and the hip will actually go a different direction. So if you remember the flat hip was straight back and straight forward. Now the hip is going to go in a circular motion. So my body will do that. It goes around this way. And as you can see, the racket has a different shape to it. There's a different shape to this swing. The way it goes is literally I'm pushing outward, then it goes back, then it comes in, and then it pushes outward again, going out to that 45. So it's almost like hula hooping, if you guys have hula hoop before. Hula hoop, you start hula hooping, it's just hula hoop. So what this does to the swing is it adds spin to the swing. So this would be your spin shape hip. All right, I'm gonna have Jeremy come back in. Um, not that great of a hula dancer myself, but the spin hip is pretty smooth. You will probably add more legs to this because you're trying to get that nice round shape to come around with the hip. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh man, those shots are awesome. So if you've ever wondered about spin and how to get it without whipping around with the arm, that is really gonna be your best bet. Get yourself to feel that spin shape. Um, the flat shape comes in really good when you get a ball that you want to kind of just attack. When you get an attackable ball, you can just flatten that thing out and just attack. On short balls, you can use it, but the height is going to be dependent upon it. If it's a very low ball, it might be difficult to really flatten out. So you, can, you might have to use a spin shape on that one. Spin shape shots are usually what you're going to use for defense or for neutral balls. If you're in a neutral rally, you're just getting some nice spin and you're getting rotation so those are the, the hip shapes it really comes down to knowing what your body is capable of some people's hips actually rotate more than 45 degrees back they're more flexible and that's okay figure out what works for you this is all about knowing what fits your style and your body so at this point please subscribe if you have any questions or comments please leave them and also like the video as well i look forward to you guys learning about this and i want some feedback i want to see what you guys think of this all right i'll see you on the next one